What's going on, everybody? It's Devin, and I'm part of the Trading Card Brothers. Again, Mikey's not here. It's unfortunate, but it's a busy time of the year for him, so I understand. But I am excited. This product just released yesterday. 2018-19 Panini Court Kings. It's kind of one of those cool products. It comes with one pack, 10 cards in the box, guaranteed two autos. Uh, guaranteed, I think it's like two parallels, two rookies, uh, one parallel, two inserts, two rookies, I think is what it is. Um, so, some sweet on-card autos, hopefully, uh, is what you're looking for, and potentially even some of these uh, pretty super short print uh, inserts that they have. There's like a Aurora Gallery of Stars, uh, and another one. These are said to be less than one per case combined. So there's, I believe, 16 boxes in a case, if I remember correctly. Yes, I am right, 16 boxes. So if we can hit one of those, that's like, it's like a one in 16 chance one of those is in this box. If not, uh, a worse chance, maybe like a one in 18, one in 20 chance. So uh, let's see if we can do it. We'll make this a profit or loss series. Got this for, I'm gonna say about a hundred bucks. Uh, at my local card shop, Legend Sports and Games, here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, on 28th Street. Uh, let's see what happened. We got some of the ones from our last Profit or Loss series, Episode 6, uh, in the back there. Shot Penny, uh, Light Blue out of 299, uh, Bradley Chubb RPA from Optic, and the Downtown Bradley Chubb insert. So the 18 uh, Optic Football box for me went heavy on Bradley Chubb. The downtown insert and the RPA redemption. So, oh, maybe if we can get lucky and have uh, some nice uh, rookie autos in here, that'd be pretty sweet. But let's uh, let's see what we're working with. Again, this released yesterday, but I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to open it yesterday. I was a little bit busy by the time I picked it up, so. I saved it for today nonetheless, which I'm still okay with. That's how it comes. A nice pack. I like the box. It's a nice looking box. Alright, let's see. It's a nice and thin pack for, for having 10 cards in it. So let's see what we got in here. Just go one card at a time. So we got first card, Demontis Sabonis from the Pacers. It looks to be the base setup. Pretty cool base setup in my opinion. I like it. We got Eric Bledsoe for the Bucks. Okay, these are some sweet looking base cards. I'm not gonna lie. I really like products like these. Kind of just crazy stuff going on. We got a Dennis Schroeder from the Thunder. And ooh. We got an upside down card of De'Aaron Fox. I wonder if this is anything sweet. Renaissance Men, insert. Darren Fox. That is sweet looking. Not numbered or anything. So that is an insert. We got a rookie here, Jaron Jackson, a rookie portrait for the Grizz. Michigan State alum who are going to be playing in the Final Four, and that is numbered out of 199. So a nice number of a decent rookie, Jaron Jackson. I like that. Let's see what we got here. This looks to be the first auto of Andre Drummond. Ooh. Brush strokes. A little disappointed in that auto, my man. That is, whew. Look at that. That is, is that, can you tell that that's Andre Drummond? 
Look at that. That looks like that's right there. It's like he went off. And then he came back on. Whew. Not going to lie, Andre. That is a not a great auto from you. I'm definitely a brush stroke. You definitely just brushed that one on. Uh, but let's see. That is numbered 28 of 49. 28 of 49. So it's definitely a cool auto. A cool car, unfortunately. He just didn't sign it very well. Um, it looks like we got a, another auto of Raif LaFrance for the Nuggets. Sovereign is what it looks like it says there at the top. And that is going to be 33 of 149. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I haven't heard of this guy. Um, it looks like that's like an old school Nuggets jersey. So I wonder if this is like an old school player um, that came back and signed. I'm not sure, to be quite honest with you. So I'm sorry. I'm disappointing there and don't really know much about that. Uh, next one is a Paul George Renaissance Men. Uh, it looks like on the back here it is numbered 16 of 99. So nice Paul George numbered there. Again, sweet artwork on these cards. They are super nice looking. Then we got a Mitchell Robinson rookie card. Not numbered or anything. Looks like the base setup for that rookie. And then we got another Mitchell Robinson, back to back of him, which this one looks almost like it could be a parallel. That's sweet looking. Doesn't say anything on it, but back to back rookie cards of Mitchell Robinson. So we got the auto of Andre Drummond out of 49, and then the other auto of the other guy who I don't know anything about. Um, so I'm going to look up these cars real quick and I'll give you a prediction. I think if it's a profit or a loss, be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm, uh, I'm going to predict a loss on this one, guys. I'm, uh, I'm not going to lie. This is, uh, you got the Andre Drummond terrible patch auto that he just decided to rush through out of 49. His stuff doesn't usually sell great. Still don't know who this guy is. I apologize for any Denver, Denver Nuggets fans out there who he may be just an absolute stud. Uh, I have no idea. Jaron Jackson numbered out of 199. That'll be all right. Paul George parallel out of 99, which is cool. But other than that, we didn't get any of the, uh, you know, inserts that were basically one per case. And uh, the two autos aren't great. So I'm calling a loss on this one, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, and as always, I'll sell all the cards and we'll see what the final number is up, uh, comes up with. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be back, uh, with another one of these videos, uh, hopefully in the next couple days. See ya.